Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 20 of Book 6. Now, in this proposition, we have two similar polygons, and this proposition states two things. That if we have two similar polygons, they can be subdivided into an equal number of similar triangles. That's part one of the proof. And the second part of the proof, or proposition, states that the ratio of the areas of the polygon will be in the duplicate ratio of the areas of the sides. So in other words, the ratio of this po blue polygon to this green po polygon will be equal to the square of the ratio of AB to FG. So let's start with the first proof, where we start proving, or we prove, that the two polygons can be divided into an equal number of similar triangles. So first we start by drawing the lines EB and EC, LG and LH. Now because these two polygons are similar, the angle at A is equal to the angle at F. So alpha is equal to A. So if we look at these two triangles, we have the angle at A is equal to the angle at F. And because the polygons were similar, then the ratio of AB to AE will be equal to the ratio of FG to FL. That's again because the polygons were similar. But if we look just at the triangles, we have two triangles with equal angle, and the ratio of the sides about those angles are equal. AB to AE equals FG to FL. So if we have a two triangles with the ratios of the sides being the same about an equal angle, then the two triangles are similar. So therefore, ABE is similar to FG and L, and consequently, beta prime is equal to B prime. Now, we also know that the angle ABC is equal to the angle FGH, again, because the original polygon was similar. And since beta prime is equal to B prime, what remains, which is beta double prime and B double prime, must be equal, because the sum of these are equal. So we have that beta prime equals B prime. Now, because the triangles ABE and FGL are similar, that means that AB is to, sorry, BE is to AB as GL is to GF. So that's just written down here. And again, it's because these two triangles are similar. And again, because the polygons are similar, AB to BC is equal to FG to GH. So now we have these two relationships. And if we look at these, we have BE to AB equals GL to FG. AB to BC equals FG to GH. And according to Proposition 22, you can sort of effectively rearrange these two equations to get that the ratio of BE to BC is equal to GL to GH. So what we are left with is that BE is to BC as GL is to GH. If we look at these two triangles, we have BE to BC, GL to GH, about a angle that is equal in both cases. So these two triangles are similar. And using exactly the same logic, which I won't go through here, we can show that the triangle ECD and LHK 
are also similar. And thus we have shown that we've taken two polygons that were similar and divided them into an equal number of similar triangles. So this finishes off the first part of the proof of this proposition. Now let's look at the proof for the duplicate ratio to sides. We have that the two polygons are equal and that B is equal to beta prime and it's not shown here but that B prime equals beta prime. Sorry, I got that inversed from the previous part of this proof. So now let us draw AC and FH. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle FGH. And we know this because we have AB to BC is equal to FG to GH. Again, the polygons are similar. The two angles are equal. So these two triangles are similar. So ABC is similar to FGH. If that's the case, then alpha prime is equal to A prime. Now, since the angles, let's get it right here, A, B, M, and F, G, N are equal. In other words, beta prime is equal to B prime. And the angles A, M, B, and F, N, G must also be equal. Well, basically, we're saying we've got beta prime and alpha prime equals B prime and A prime. So, obviously, eta is equal to N. Therefore, ABM is equal angular and similar to FGM. What this implies is that AM to BM is equal to FN to NG because these two triangles are similar. Likewise, we can just, using exactly the same logic, show that BM to MC is equal to GN to NH. We're just going to do a little bit of math here and take these two guys here. Oh, sorry, drawing it badly. So AM to BM was FN to NG. BM to MC equals NG to NH. So we can remove this part of these two equations about ratios and end up that AM to MC is equal to FN to NH. So what does that mean? We have AM to MC is equal to FN to NH. But AM to MC is equal to the ratio of the areas of the triangle of ABM to MBC because they are of equal height. So the ratio of the triangles is equal to the ratio of the bases. We can also show that AEM, the area AEM and the area of MCE also have the same ratio because they are also equal to, the, or the ratios are equal to the ratios of the bases. So we have that AM to MC is equal to ABM to MBC, which is also equal to AME to EMC. All right, so according to, excuse me, a proposition 12 of book five, we have three ratios that are equal. AM to MC equals the area of ABM to MBC, so ABM to MBC, so these two, which is also equal to the ratio of these two triangles, AME and EMC. But according to the proposition 12 of book five, if we have three ratios that are equal, 
we can also start adding up bits of them and the ratio will still hold. So if we add the, just a minute, let me get this right, the antecedents would be ABM and AME. So if we add those two together and we compare that or get the ratio of that to these two guys, they will still be equal to this ratio of AM to MC. So in other words, AM to MC is equal to the sum of ABM and AME compared to MBC and EMC, or in other words, the ratio is equal to this top darker blue triangle to the paler blue triangle. We can do exactly the same thing to show that Fn to NH is equal to the ratio of F FGL, this darker green triangle, compared to the lighter green triangle on the bottom. Exactly the same logic. All right, so this is a long proof, so I have now switched to the next page, and I've written here all the conclusions that we need to carry on, so let's recap. A, B, C, D, E, in other words, this entire polygon, including the bit that's grayed out, is these two are similar. AB to BC is equal to FG to GH, again, because the two polygons are similar. AM to MC has the same ratio of FN to NH. We also have that AM to MC, the ratio AM to MC is equal to the ratio of this darker blue triangle to the lighter blue triangle. The ratio of Fn to Nh is equal to the ratio of the area of the darker green triangle to the lighter green triangle. All of these sum up what was on the previous page. Now if we start substituting triangle relationships and again just doing a little bit of math, we have that AM to MC equals FN to NH. So these two are equal. If these two are equal, then these two must also be equal. So we end up with the area of AB, sorry, the area of ABE compared to the area of BCE. So that ratio is also going to be equal to the ratio of Again, the darker green triangle in relationship to the lighter green triangle. So ABE to BEC is equal to GFL compared to GLH. Now, alternatively, we can again do a little bit of math. So if we have ABE, well, this is just basic um, ratio arithmetic. So we are taking ABE to FGL is equal to BCE to GHL, and that's covered in detail in Book 5, which deals with ratios. So now we have that ABE to FGL is equal to BCE to GHL. And if we do exactly the same logic, only this time we draw a line from B to D and from G to K, we can show that BCE to GHL has the same ratio as ECD to LHK. So now let's look what we've got. We have ABE to FGL is equal to BCE to GHL and BC, uh, sorry, BCE to GHL is also equal to ECD to LHK. We have three ratios that are equal, so we can do the same thing 
as before from book from proposition 12 of book 5 is we can start adding up all the antecedents and the ratio will still remain the same. So we will add AB, ABE to BCE to ECD and compare that to FGL, GHL, and LHK. So this ratio, this big ratio here, is equal to the original ratio ABE to FGL. So now we have shown rather long-windedly, that the ratio of ABE to FGL is equal to the ratio of the area of the polygons. However, we do know from the previous proposition, 19, book 6, is that if we have a triangle, then the ratio of the area of the triangles is equal to the duplicate ratio of the ratios of the sides. So the area of ABE to FGL is equal to the duplicate ratio of AB to FG. Slowly getting there. ABE, FGL, ABE, FGL, these two are the same. And since these two are the same, these two must also be the same, which leaves us with the area of the blue polygon compared to the green polygon is equal to the duplicate ratio of the sides AB and FG. And thus we have shown that the ratio of the areas between two polygons is equal to the duplicate ratio of their sides.